Welcome to the Design Knit video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a large tapestry design and using it to design a full length coat. This design is currently in approximately 40 colors, and we'll reduce this somewhat so that we can have six colors per row. But as the knitting progresses, different colors will be swapped in and out of the feeders to maintain the six color per row limitation, but we can have more colors in the design to push design it to the limit in the design process. When the coat is finished in design, it will be crucial to use the interactive knitting section to keep track of these design changes as the knitting progresses. I'm going to say file and I'm going to open up a coat thumbnails. Here's my coat right here. This is a back and two fronts with a 25 centimeter top. This is 30 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters. So we need to know view info. It's 83 and 83 for the front, the two fronts, and it's 166 for the back. Okay. So 166 and 166. We can bring up our calculator if we want. We have 83 for the one front plus 83 for the second front, plus 166 for the back. 252 stitches wide we have available with us to work on our pattern. Obviously this is more than the needle bed can hold. So with this information in hand, we're going to go to the Design Graphics Studio section. We're going to open up a Clea Morris Woodpecker design. OK to continue zoom out. Know that we have 252 stitches to work with. So I'm going to say grid dimensions 252 and it says here for 30 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters which is our current tensions we're going to have 252 stitches and 490 rows. Okay to continue. Now this is our grid dimensions we've just done. Our conversion settings is going to be six colors per row again. Okay to continue. Here's our yarn palette. I'm going to say select all. Let's open up the default yarn palette and say all of the colors should be selected and apply this. And there's six colors per row jacquard. It will figure it out automatically for me what's the best use of the colors to get the most and we have six colors here and we have the second bird here woodpeckers male and female okay so this looks okay we don't need to change any colors and I'm going to say okay to continue we're going to be knitting this on a silver reed SK840 this is going to be in six color per row jacquard okay and it says that there are 1875 jacquard errors and if I say OK it will check them for me check jacquard OK to continue yeah, here's our errors correct them and you can see that it has maintained the image correctly with the appropriate uh, colors six colors per row but if I check in my yarn palette, yarn it up and say delete unused colors. You can see I have all of these colors in use and I'm going to be swapping them out as necessary. I have two colors here. Let's say palettes again, delete unused and OK to continue. I can probably take this this color with my right mouse button and this color with my left mouse button and say palettes replace. I could probably do the same thing for these two colors and say palettes replace and I get a little bit different on my design so I can say palettes yarn color setup again delete the unused colors okay to continue and so design it has picked out a series of 18 colors now that I'm going to be using to knit up the next thing to do is to say shapes open a shaping file and I want to open up a coat. Here it is. 
and I want to view the pieces, the two fronts and the back. Oops, I don't want the sleeve. Okay, I'm going to say cut out so I can see the pieces and get rid of these two boxes. So then I'm going to say modify, shuffle this down 15 rows. Now let's modify, shuffle them down a little bit further, another 15 rows. Now I can see both patterns for the the woodpecker and the bird. This is going to be wrapping into the front. This is the beginning of this up bottom of the pattern again, but it looks fine. I might want to edit this and edit this to get the second half of the pair, but that's okay. And so this is going to be nice. We're going to make the sleeves, the set in sleeves, and we will continue the design down the sleeves. And this will be my next project. Thank you. This is too close to the armhole, so we're going to say modify, shuffle this down 25 rows and you can see that this has been shuffled down you can see the bird here when we do the sleeves we'll purposely have the bird on this bird on one of the sleeves and this bird on the other sleeve this here is part of a woodpecker and we're going to want to uh, edit this later to get rid of the head